Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. Well, good morning and welcome back to Shelburne RV. It's a bright Monday morning. I should have grabbed some video Friday for you guys. We spent probably the, it rained almost all day Friday, except for, I think the rain stopped around like two o'clock and everybody in the shop jumped on to winterizing campers, low point draining campers. Um, we winterized and low pointed drain probably 18 in that little short amount of time because this morning it's chilly uh it's 28 degrees here this is the first morning of really cold weather that we've got so yeah we were uh we we're really busting them out and crawling around in the mud puddles and trying to get them winterized for the weekend so we're back here on a monday morning uh got a few things we're going to get working on remember it's a short week for jan and i this week because we're going to be off to uh to connecticut for the land and sea show this week so we'll be heading out on wednesday so got a few things we're going to show you this morning you can see that little jewel right there got a big uh, i think that's a 2006 prevost uh this gentleman's been watching my channels for a while and, and that one there's got uh, two basement airs in it and he has been told that it does have a bad compressor in one of the uh in one of the units so we're going to go up here and get a few things moved out of the bays and that's going to be the first one we pull up this morning we're going to dive into that and see what we can find out with that got to get him done as quick as we can he's actually got a an appointment with tennessee coaches just not too far from here getting some other prevost work done on so we're going to get going this morning to see how that goes so let's go let's go dive in well as you can see we've got the basement air out of this prevost a little bit of a chore a lot of a lot of chrome pieces got to come out a lot of nice trim you don't want to damage So now that we've got we've got this out, ductwork got a little damaged right there. We'll go fix that up. But did notice the gentleman does have a problem with water leaking right there, and it has rusted out the bottom of this hose reel right here. So we're gonna see about dealing with that. But as you can see, it's out. So we've got all the covers off. This is on the on the test bench now, and I'm not seeing anything that jumps out as something maybe has been leaking or not we're gonna have to oh, test this compressor and see what's going on with it so we'll get it running here in a minute and see what's going on so we did run this unit we do have six amps per uh compressor so the compressors are good we did find out though that the motor was locked up in the outdoor fan motor was locked up and you can see why lewis has actually cleaned this off but you can see how nasty it was in here this thing was locked up and uh, so that's what was causing the uh, breakers to pop was it was building so much head pressure that the compressors were locked, were popping the breakers. So Lewis has got a good new motor for this. We're gonna put that in a retest. So we've got the outdoor fan in this. Uh, Lewis ran this for about, how long did you run that? 45 minutes or so, Mr. Lewis? Yes, sir. What'd you get, 36 in the discharge? 36. So we're good to go. Compressors and all look good. We did wash it out, we did clean the coils. So we're going to get this reinstalled back in this Prevo bus first thing in the morning. So Brandon's got the new rack assembly put together for this Chateau you've seen right here. And it's got the new uh, Shelburne HD shoes in it. We're going to put those in there because that is a full wall slide. And he's working on getting all that out of there. And they've got all this riveted in, so he'll have to take these rivets out. Obviously got rivets all the way up through there on the H rail. So he'll get all that riveted out and then... We'll get the new one put in. So this has been one of those campers that's been extremely difficult to uh, try to resolve the water. Um, we've sealed tech this one now three times and the gentleman is still seeing some water dripping underneath there. And I mean, we've turned the machine up on high and gone over it with soapy water multiple times and cannot find the leak. Now, I, had a, I think we had a little issue maybe right around that turn bar right there. Um, and so I, pulled all the sealing out of there and then went back with some black marine grade sealant but you know the lights the lights were maybe and there's this is the led strip that runs down right there we saw a little spot right there but 
You know, this is the problem with Class C's, and this is it's very difficult to diag diag some of these water leaks in these. And you know, this one unfortunately has been back three times now, and we have we've been over this thing and over this thing and over this thing. And so, you know, it's just I know the customer's a little on the frustrated side. And of course, we are too because obviously we want to fix it, but. You know, it's this is the challenges we run into. So I just want to share that with you guys. Of course, it's been chilly today, so you can imagine the winterizations have been through the roof today. So we've actually we've actually got them all lined up out here. The boys are running. I mean, there's every one of these is up here being winterized, and there's two more behind there that I've got staged in there right now, trying to get winterizations done on them before before this evening. So they've been busy busy trying to get all that last minute stuff done. So, yeah, they're busy doing that. A uh, little update on the uh, on the Alpha. We do have the slide all put back in. They actually have got the uh, slide out topper put back on, along with the uh, window awning is on. So everything's good on it. And as you can see right there, it's sitting there. They've got everything installed up on there now. So. Only thing left on it's black water valve. We're gonna we're gonna probably take it down to the dump station first thing in the morning, get that done, and then uh, retest all that. Well, good morning, welcome back. You can see it's uh it's raining outside. I've been out here moving campers already this morning, so been out here in the rain. But we did get the basement air tested and ready to go on the uh, Prevost bus over here. So. We're gonna go over here. Mr. Lewis is doing some cleanup work on it. Um, let's go over here and check that out. So we've got the unit back in the Prevost bus. Now the return duct work had a little bit of a problem. So we went in here and actually Lewis built a brand new piece of that for this. But now we've got everything back in this bus. So we're gonna go ahead, you can see this piece Lewis made right here. We're gonna go ahead and start working on getting everything lined back up in here and set in place. Okay, so Lewis has got it all finished up. You can see we've got all the trim pieces back in there. The only thing we've got left to do is this little bezel ring that goes around the air conditioner. It's actually got a seal on it that seals up against there. But we've been running it now in heat pump mode. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of frost right there. So all our amp draws were good. So we're done with this. We're gonna get this buttoned up. This gentleman's heading on to uh, East Tennessee uh, motor coaches and get some other work done. So all done with the Prevost. Well, we got the Prevost bus all finished up. The boys have gotten most of their winterization done for today and tomorrow. So I think we've got all that kind of caught up. So Jeanne and I are off to uh, to Connecticut. We're gonna head up there for the uh, land and sea show. Um, I'll do a few videos while I'm there so you guys can kind of see what's going on, but uh, we're gonna head that way. See you there. So Jan and I have made it to the Mohegan Sun here in uh, Connecticut. Um, been up since four o'clock this morning. It's now 12, so been traveling all day. But at, on the video, you guys got to see it was almost instantaneous. It's funny how it works that way sometimes. So we're gonna get all checked in and then uh, we'll take you down to the show here later today. All right, so Jeanne and I, were now registered. We're ready for the Land and Sea Show tomorrow. Uh, we'll get some good video you guys for that. Uh, shout out to Mr. Rich. Appreciate you bringing in your Prevost bus for us to, to give us the opportunity to work on your, your Prevost and get that air conditioner all fixed up. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll, uh, we'll be back on Monday. I'll get lots of video from the Land and Sea Show. Thanks for watching and remember that this video is Cousin Gary Approved.